Some sort of weird where- What? Why am I... Was it you who called me here? What? Here we go again. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Alright, I feel like this is gonna be a big lore dump. On behalf of the convocation, I bid you welcome to our order. At times you will stand with us, at times you will stand against us. All that you might steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. For yours is the seat of Elidibus, the emissary, and by this name shall your very actions be guided. Holy shit. Okay. La Habrea the Speaker. Elidibus, the Emissary. Emmet Selk, the Chad. So you peered into my memories. No matter. You will have found little of import. But I see you intended to summon me here no more than I intended to come. The fault is mine. Okay, it's getting real. Such is the burden of hope. Okay, so now I'm assuming based off of that, that he actually is the same Elidibus who is Zodiac's heart. It's still possible to go either way. But I, I'm assuming that he is all... But how did he not get tempered? Because it seems like he he's the one as a Litibus, as the Elidibus, who would need to traverse both Hydaelyn and Zodiac, right? We would need to decide which one is the right one. But how would he not be tempered? Like, he he's the middleman. He can literally go against the convocation. Buckle up, Rich. Wait, let me turn off text to speech. Thank, thank you very much for the two months, though. That was, that was a very friendly text to speech, but I, I want to turn it off for the story. How does he not get tempered? That That's the issue. Give back Arbar's body. Why must you embroil people in your plans? What are you plotting? What are you plotting? Come now. My plans are no mystery. Okay. That which I do is no different from that which you have done so many times, Warrior of Darkness. Kick ass and take names, or...? I arm myself, I hone my skills, I make ready to vanquish my enemy. You. Oh, you're in my best friend's body. This is gonna get hella confusing for me. Could you grow the facial hair back, by the way? Kinda weird that you took that liberty. You who have murdered my brothers who have taken their selfless labors in service to the one true world and turned them to ash. OTW, baby. Join today. I see you for what you are. You are death. And only in death shall you serve any purpose. You're an asshole. You want to hear your purpose? The Convocation charged me to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. As Elidibus, it is my duty, and I shall see it done. I like you, man. What do you say we bloody up that axe? 
like old times together. I will strike you down. Destroy you, body and soul. All else must wait. Ere long, I will come for you, warrior of darkness. And I will save the world. Okay, corpse jockey. Let's see what you got. One last matter. I bore witness to your final struggle with Emmet Selk. It seemed as if he saw something familiar in you. Looks like you just did too, Mr. Uh, Corpse Husband Superfan. You took that name way too literally. As if he mistook you for another. Hithlodius called me his old friend. No, I recall not of whom he spoke. Yes, you do, liar. Mayhap I never knew you, or mayhap it is another fragment lost. Don't you WH Omega lull me? Think you can get away with that? I'm I'm the one seventy eighth. Ah, I wasn't aware you already had a guest. If the conversation is constructive, I shall not intrude. I'm the 14th's friend. Dude, actually glowing. But if you seek to stir up trouble, Elidibus, then I must insist you leave at once. Dude, he's... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I can't see the other arm right now. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, let, wait, 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 wait. Wait, show me Graha again. What the fuck, dude? Though you lack her blessing, your soul is surprisingly dense. Hmm. Okay, I think he was just poking his soul. I think we're fine. That was just a debate. Dude, Elidibus does that all the fucking time, dude. He's literally been doing that since ARR. He just, like, gets inside of people and he's like, Ah, yes, thick soul. Dude, he's more touchy with souls than Blizzard is with their female employees. This is fucking insane. Okay, so he's saying that even though he's not blessed with Heidelin, he's, so he's assuming that he's not rejoined, he's saying that his soul is thick. Okay, people poof. Blizzy bus. <laughs> Worry not. I seem to be unharmed. Yeah, but why are you more crystal donged than ever before, brother? This is what when did that happen? Is he doing it to keep himself alive? Does he have to make himself more crystalline to live? There we go. Do we get an answer? Oh, uh, this. This is my own doing. The consequence of my recent exertions. Oh, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. The more crystal he becomes, the more close he is to dying. Stop exerting yourself so much, man. It's not good for you. It desensitizes it. It is the tower's way of compensating me for the demands I have placed on it. Rest assured, it is no great inconvenience at present. Indeed, I told Beck Lug as much, but they would not be persuaded and sent me away to rest. No need to make a fuss. Strange as it may sound, I consider it something of a badge of honor. I mean, you look really cool. If you weren't about to die, I would say you look cooler than ever before. The song is beautiful. Guys, thank you for the hype train. Rich, do you One think his dick is crystal? Souls who saw me delivered under the I don't first. want to spoil it for you. Once said that the world shall ever have a place for tales of heroism, so long as we have need of inspiration in our lives. 
though he and his fellows had no way of knowing whether their mad scheme would amount to anything. They knew that the attempt alone would inspire hope. Or so they hoped. Guys, stop calling the Crystal Exarch's dick rock candy. You will be banned. Yo, Sakel, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate that so much. I really fucking do. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. One guy did? Well, I was talking to him then, wasn't I? <laughs> A more optimistic lot one would be hard-pressed to find. They said they would find a means to save our God's forsaken world just as soon as they had sent me on my way. Said it with such confidence that for a fleeting moment, I half believed them. Such faith, such courage in the face of unrelenting despair. For a long time, it was more than I could bear to remember them. But having come this far, having sent full many on their way myself, I see things more clearly. To take action is to hope. To believe, to choose to believe, is to take the first step towards a brighter future. Graha's my favorite character. I don't talk when Graha talks. And why do I tell you this? Because I want you to indulge me in a little recklessness. Needless to say, I have a plan. And when all is said and done, I will ask yet another favor of you. I will do anything you want. Anything. Allow me to play dead. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. The fuck? What could it? What? We just saw Liddy Bus. What could be freaking out Rain? What's wrong? It's Thancred. He's collapsed. Was Thancred the first? I'm trying to remember. What was the order? Thancred. Thancred, Ishtola, Urianje, Alfie, Alize, me. Urianje was before Ishtola. Okay, so it goes Thancred, Urianje, Ishtola, and Urianje and Ishtola are pretty close. Then, then the twins, then me. Mm, that is right, because Urianje and. Uh... Thank you, it's put a bunch of time together in the pixie realm. 